next guest has, has played a prisoner, an English housewife, and more recently, opera diva Maria Callas. Her latest role is, I think, probably one of the most challenging in her career, portraying legendary fashion identity, Diana Vreeland. To tell us more, welcome the absolutely fabulous Amanda Muggleton. Such a ham, I can't help it. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Oh, it's and wonderful. you've got a great bunch here, right I around know. Australia, here in the audience. You're not taking that boy home before me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a queue here today. <laughs> I'll see you outside. <laughs> I'm getting into the role now, yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Dana yes, Vreeland, but last yeah. time you joined us on the show, you were off to do Maria Callas. Very oh, demanding. It was demanding, but it was sensational. We did it in uh, Adelaide. Look at you, Rodney I mean, Fisher. That, that whole outfit, the makeup, the, the mannerisms. Yes. Are beautiful. Well, this was all done by Richard de Chazelle, this mm. wonderful makeup artist in Brisbane, and he also did the look for Diana Vreeland, which is you know what I'm about to do. But um, Callas went so well that the Sydney Theatre Company and Simon Gallagher SG Productions has picked it up, mm. and they're going to produce it in Melbourne. So next year I go to Melbourne. Canberra, and we're bringing it back to Sydney! Rock and roll, <laughs> so I'm fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Now, let's move on to Diana Vreeland, a huge um, American fashion identity. Just fill in, fill in the gaps for what we may All not right. know. Well, she was born in what they call the Belle Epoque, which is just at the turn of the century, and she went through until 1989 is when she died. And she was terribly flamboyant. She saw people like Nijinsky dance, Pavlova dance, Isadora Duncan. She knew the Rothschild, the Vanderbilts. She knew Josephine Baker. She had dinner parties with Chanel and Helena Rubinstein. And of course, she became the fashion editor of Vogue. First of all, Harper's Bazaar and then Vogue, and she spanned a huge career. And then suddenly, in the early 70s, they sacked her for no reason other than that it's a bit like, um, who's that wonderful actress, Isabella Rossellini? You know yeah. how they sacked her because she was 40? From doing those wonderful Lancome the commercials. The F word. The F word, 40. And um, she... What? What did I say? <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> and um, they sacked her, basically, because she was nearly 70. And they just thought that she'd run past her era. But what a powerful woman. Oh, she, she, you didn't do anything unless Diana Vreeland said so. She used to say things like, I want this room in flames! Because she was kind of half Jewish and half... Well, American. She was New York, mm. but born in Paris. So she, once again, a bit mm. like Callas, she had a New York accent, but with a little bit of U European. So for whenever mm. she says a French word, it's very French. And th you don't actually know if she's Jewish or not, but she certainly comes across that way. Well, expand a little bit on how flamboyant and how you... Uh, Amanda got into the mannerisms, the you know the big. Well, the first of thing is that I'm being directed by one of the greatest actors in this country, John Crummel, who is very aware of who she is, and he knows exactly what he wants. Mm. And I'm only as good as my director, you know. And Rodney Fisher was the same for Callas, and they're both very strong men. And I'm a pretty strong woman. <laughs> but uh, John Crummel and I are having such fun doing this. Now, here's the photograph, yes. which again, this, this is you. This is amazing. I know. They, there you can see where they've really shaved my head, which is about to be shaved again. Oh, that's right. You've got back. the five o'clock shadow up well, there. Well, no. Can, oh, look. It's all, it's like baby hair. It's all coming oh. through again. So uh, that's, I've got to get the razor blade out any minute before I play her. As long as it's not on your wrist. <laughs> oh, no. No, I would never go there. <laughs> so, I mean, she really is a dramatic character. What, what, what are some of the things she would do or say? She, she right, would she command... She says, oh, people say fashion is dead. Fashion is in the very daily air. It comes. It just keeps coming. Fashion is history. You've got to have style. It helps you get up in the morning. It helps you get down the stairs. <laughs> She said, when it comes to food, I have very simple taste. I adore shepherd's pie, bubbling, squeaking, sizzling. 
and boiled new potatoes with their skins all shiny and taut, like Chinese ivories. Chutney is marvelous. It's very imperial, very uh, much the empire. Oh, the great days. Lettuce is divine, although I'm not sure it's really food. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, she came up with these wonderful statements and you'll all remember, girls, she was the person who said, think pink. <laughs> and she changed the fashion world. Up until that point, there had been Balenciaga and Givenchy and they were all, of course, black and navy blue and greys, very chic. And she suddenly decided that everybody had to wear pink. And so everybody wore she pink uh, because, as she said, pink is the navy blue of India. <laughs> What, a, what great characters. I often wonder why characters like that don't seem to exist today. Well, no, oh, they do, but we just Oh, here's the pink thing. thing. Oh, yes. Oh. Now, this is um, Kay Thompson doing an impression of Diana Vreeland in mm. Funny Face. You all know the film Funny Face mm. with the gorgeous Audrey Hepburn, who, of course, Diana Vreeland also, also knew very well. You wouldn't want to get in this woman's way, would you? Oh, no. I, one of the first things she says, I've been watching a film of her, and she says, please, don't stand there. You know, she's just, she's bigger than life. She's just... And what? of course, the show's called Full Gallop. It's called why? Full Gallop, and it's on at the Marion Street mm. Theatre. But why is it called Full Gallop? Because she had so much energy. And when she gets the sack from Vogue, she goes abroad. She said, other editors, they get the sack, they throw themselves out of a window. Well, I didn't go out any window. I went abroad for four months. <laughs> and I had a fascinating time. <laughs> so I, I, I must tell you, I've only done a week's rehearsal, so she's not actually in my soul yet. You, uh, she's but in she her will. soul, isn't she? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no you're she doing will be. I've still got, we've still got four weeks before we open. We mm. open on the 21st of, where are we? August. Mm -hmm. And it goes through till about the 20th, 21st of September. You've got to come and see me do it. I dance the dying swan. Oh, and you should bit? see... Just, as we go to break, dance the dying swan. Right. There's the details right. up You've there. You've got to see John Crummel dance do you need, the dying swan. Do you need swan. dying swan music? Could you do? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Muggleton.